Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to go through giant ionic structure. Giant ionic structure happens in ionic compound. Ionic compounds contain ionic bondings, which involves transferring of electrons between metals and nonmetals. And the classic example of ionic compound is NaCO, where Na is metal and CO, chlorine, is nonmetal. This NaCO, which is also known as table salt, form into giant ionic structure. Giant ionic structure has also a different name, which is known as lattice arrangement. Lattice arrangement is when a positive ion gets surrounded by the negative ion and the negative ion gets surrounded by the positive ion. Let me show you a diagram of this. So we're going to assume the red one is the sodium plus, which is positive ion, and the purple one is the chlorine, which is the negative ion. You can see that the positive sodium is surrounded by the negative ion chlorine, and the chlorine, which is negative ion, is surrounded by positive ion. And such arrangement is called lattice arrangement. Now, the giant ionic structure has three important properties. You need to learn the three properties of giant ionic structure and you have to also learn the reason for such properties. Now the first and the main properties of giant ionic structure is that they have high melting and boiling point. And the reason why they have high melting and boiling point is because they have strong ionic bond and it's a giant structure so they have many bonds. Since they have many strong bond, large amount of heat energy will be needed to break those bond. The second property of giant ionic structure is that it can be dissolved in water, which means ionic compounds are soluble in water. So ionic compounds are made up of iron, and these iron can interact with water. I'll show you with the diagram. These are water molecules. This water molecule surrounds the iron, so these water molecules keep those ions separated. In a covalent bond, ions are now formed, so any substance which is made up of covalent bonding will not dissolve in water. In the last property, I have to mention about conducting electricity. Giant ionic structure can only conduct electricity when it is found as a liquid. But when it's a solid, it cannot conduct electricity. So, a solid cannot conduct electricity. When it's a liquid, can conduct electricity. I like to mention that we can make an ionic compound into a liquid by dissolving the ionic compound in a water, or we can heat them and then melting them solid ionic compound into liquid and it will form molten molten liquid and this is how we can make the solid ionic compound into a liquid okay now reason 
why when it's a liquid it can conduct electricity when the ionic compound is found as a liquid the ionic bond is broken so the ions are free to move around if they are free to move around then they can conduct electricity so we have to say the ionic bond is broken and the ions are free to move around the ions are free to move around as the ionic bond is broken so the important things to learn in giant ionic structures are lattice arrangement and the three properties of ionic compounds and the reason why they have such properties thank you for watching the video i hope this was helpful if you like the video please give a thumbs up subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much